hello guys welcome back to another tutorial and today we'll learn something very cool uh, let me reload the page so we we'll learn this intro animations and also if I scroll down you'll see this morphing animation this one and this one also and this one also but in this video I just cover I will just cover the first section the hero section so it will be uh, in two part in first part we'll learn this one the intro animations and the first morphing animation and the second part we'll learn this one these two okay hello everyone hope you are all fit and fine so let's get started let's uh, start the session so over here we have a uh, integrate statement and uh, on the left side we have the folder so I'm not coding uh, HTML CSA I'm just uh, um, copy and paste my existing code and then explain it everything okay yeah so I will copy the first section the intersection okay so this is the intersection so in the intersection just wait I need to minimize the head okay so in the intersection we have header and a div um, in the, uh, in the, uh, we have a grid and grid columns too. Okay, so uh, in grid columns too, we have two section one on uh, the content. Okay, maybe you see in the video content on the left side. So this is the content and this is the SVG basically which basically animating the morphing uh, animations. Okay, going on this SVG. So this is the SVG and this is the header. Okay, the simple HTML code. So let's uh, copy and paste the second intro. So I, I just uh, named the ID calls intro and also I had a uh, um, default I had a background over here and uh, the second intro basically have the same thing uh, but it don't have the header so it also have grid grid calls too so it also have a content and the intro like SVJ so it called pattern intro so it also will be animated uh, like morphing animations okay so let's go uh, explain the CSS there's nothing on the CSS I just import the C uh, Google fonts and then add it uh, on the body tag and this is the noise effect that's it simple CSS so this is how it looks there's nothing over here I told you uh, we need to add it using JavaScript okay and yeah this is it okay let's uh, move on to the JavaScript let's make something great together okay so let's start with the heading so let's make create a heading variable and name it uh, I already have name just need to copy and paste so the be the shape of something great okay so I will I need to split it okay split what I mean title word so now we'll get an array so I'll add the space so that I in every space uh, after every space he can create like this can create an array so the array have I think one two three four five six value okay so let's define the Titan container so document uh, is like ID so get element by ID and then we will do this so it's like item container where is it this one this one I don't want to know okay and now like is it's array so we can make it for each and then we'll say word after that uh, like we'll create a p like paragraph tag okay so paragraph document dot create element p element and we'll create a spawn tag so it should be a spawn and it should be a spawn okay sorry spawn so this is the heading so when you run uh, the heading dot split then we get this array and when you use for each then we get every single array separately and then we create a paragraph tag and a spawn tag in the for each then like this is the paragraph tag and this is the spawn tag so basically we will append this paragraph tag this spawn tag inside of paragraph tag with this word okay so there's one two three four five six and we have six paragraph 
tag with spawn tag okay so this is the idea i hope you understand as you are using tailwind so you, we can easily add class over here so we will add overflow hidden in the paragraph tag so that we will get the perfect animation for our word and we will we just okay so this word basically um, go in our spawn tag okay as a text okay and then we will again add a class list and this time we will add multiple class we will add busy transparent transparent we will add inline block so this is how we can add multiple class for and we will add And then we will add paragraph append child spawn or spawn and title container sorry title container append paragraph okay okay cool so now we'll animate the intro okay so for the intro we need to add uh, like as it's an intro so we'll do it like when the page load then the intro will come so we'll do we'll add an event listener which basically uh a input suppose of input so which basically function error function so this one and we need to create a timeline so this app timeline is power one in out okay gsap set cube box svg so we will basically say that our cube box svg by default will be like scale 0 to and then y 900 so this is our layout okay and uh, this is our svg so i will make it this so these are as we say right now so as we say it uh, scale 0 0.2 so it will be getting smaller so suppose these are 0 0.2 so still is in the same position then we add y900 so it will go down so this is the basically center position suppose so when we add y900 then it will go all the way down okay over here like uh, i think yeah that's it but if we add minus 900 then it will go to to the top okay okay and then we'll add from header so tl like the timeline over here so we need to add it from this is the header basically so we don't need to add any dot before it because it's a header text semantic text and the thing is like when uh, y minus 100 that it will coming all the way from top okay so yeah that's it okay then we will need to add animate our title container so this is a title container so we just need to animate it so we are not animating the title container we will animating this title spawn tag okay and we'll make it 200 so that is coming from the bottom side Now we will animate our cube box to cube box cube box SBJ. Oh, sorry, it will be a capital S. Okay, cool. SBJ. Uh, we say it uh, y value 900. So now we need to set y value 0 so that we see the animations. So again, we will make it rotations. 180 degree and scale 1 because we say this scale 0 0.2 okay okay now it's perfect so now we will animate our content content on the bottom maybe you'll see um, there's a, a paragraph tag and two button so we'll animate that one I basically add the, uh, the same class uh, with these three content so that I get uh, I can easily animate all of them at once okay so stagger 0.2 and now we need to add a notation value 
minus equal 0.4 so this value specify that the animation should start from 0.4 second before the current position of the timeline okay so as we have an animation before this one this one we has have an animation before this one uh, in the timeline so this means this below um, will animate uh, or uh, animate 0.4 second earlier than the current position in the timeline okay so yeah that's it okay this is how it looks uh, let me refresh we have a cool animations yeah so i think this is uh, this is the end uh, i will create another video for our morphic animations so stay tuned guys okay and subscribe my channel